Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the A4 V2 Lite from WowTac. Now, you might never have heard of WowTac, but they are a sister company to a very well-known flashlight company called Throughnight. You may have heard of them. If so, that's probably piqued your interest, and so it should, because this is a really good light. Let's take a look at what comes in the box, then we'll get it outside, and then I'll give you my summary. Okay, so WowTac A4 V2 thrower light. And by thrower, I mean it will throw the light a long, long way. In fact, it'll throw it about 565 meters. We've got two rubber seals. In fact, we've got three rubber seals. We've got two main seals, one for here and one from here, because both those points unscrew to allow you to get to the battery if necessary. I'll show you that beast in a minute. And we've also got a little square seal here, and that is for the charge point, in case you lose it. Now before I discuss the outputs on this particular light, just look at that, technically supported by Through Night. This is actually a Through Night product without the Through Night price. Yes, on the box it says WowTac, to me, this is a through night light. This is so similar to the Catapult V6 as far as performance and design goes, it may as well just be a through night light. But this one is considerably cheaper. And like all the through nights, it's waterproof, shockproof, all that sort of thing. I keep forgetting to say that in a lot of these reviews because good lights are now all shockproof and waterproof. Okay, so what we have here is a beast of a light with an output of approximately 1900 lumens. Well, it says just shy of that, 1895. Numerous light outputs from Firefly, which is 0.5 lumens. And that Firefly will last apparently 208 days. We've got low output, which is 28 lumens, which will last 89 hours. We've got medium, which is 208 lumens, which is 12 hours runtime. We've got high, which is 1,058 lumens, which will shine on high, which is that, for eight minutes, and then it knocks itself down to a slightly lower power, just to stop this heating up as much, for an extra 150 minutes. So, I mean, you've got, what's that, almost three hour runtime on high? I'll just put it on low there, so you can see the marked difference between that and turbo, which is accessed by giving it a double press. Boom. That is 1895 lumens. It shines at that high intensity for three minutes and then it knocks itself down to about 600 lumens for approximately 148 minutes. You would never have it on that higher output constantly anyway. It doesn't do the light any good and there's no need to have it on that. You know, I mean, even the, the high is any amount bright enough for navigating and highlighting anything you want to see. And it also has a memory as well, so I'll switch it on. That's on the lower power output. If I wanted to change it to the high one, we'll just keep the button pressed. Uh, boom. Okay, so switch it off, switch it back on, comes back on and high. So it does remember, as I say, double press to get it into turbo. Another double press to put it into strobe. That's an intense light, very intense. I wouldn't want to look at that too much. So that's our on off button, little button on the top there, and that also helps to cycle through all our various power outputs as well. On the opposite side, we've got a little removable rubber flap, and that gives us access to a micro USB charging point, so we don't actually have to take the battery out to charge this. And using battery backup or some other sort of USB device, stick that in there, and it charges up our light. It doesn't show up very well on this, but it's basically glowing red to show that it's charging up. When it's fully charged, it goes blue, and if there's a problem, say there's a, a power cut, you know, if I pull that out of there, it should flash purple, just to show you that it isn't charging properly. When it's fully charged, you just whip that out, press your little rubbery cover back down, and then you're good to go. I forgot to show you this before when I was explaining what comes in the box, but this little charging cable does come with the light. 
as does the battery, which is an absolute monster. Just check this out. 5,000 milliamp hours, 26650 battery. That is a beast, an absolute beast. And that's what allows this light to run for so long and put out such a high intensity of light. There's no wasted space in this at all. I mean, you know, it's hardly bigger than my fist. And I've got pretty small hands. This is a real powerhouse. Let's take it outside and see what it can do on a night. Okay, there's Firefly mode. We don't really need to say anything more about that. That is exceptionally low power. I mean, you'd really want to use that if you were in a cave or something. But it is useful, you know, if you're in a tent and you didn't want to draw attention to yourself, you might use that for reading. It's certainly bright enough to read by. Just cycle through the various power outputs. There you go, hopefully you can see that. I'll switch to turbo. And the whole lot lights up and you can see there's quite an intense beam in the middle of that light. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up but at approximately 200 yards away, we've got a little flock of sheep. Hopefully you'll be able to see the eyes shining. It's not very noticeable on the viewfinder. Hopefully it'll come out well on the film though. Ah, oh, no, there's a the one you might be able to pick out. At approximately 300 yards, we've got a sign. Just to the right of these trees, there, right in the middle of the beam, we've got a sign that's white. That's a yeah, I would say that's a good 300 yards away. Beyond that, we've got a bridge that goes over the river that might not come out on film. That'll be a good 350 yards away, and I can see it clear as day. Looking on the viewfinder, it's not coming out too well. Certainly closer to home. Oh, hey, up there, we've got a rabbit. Running around in the field. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up. You may have to be full screen for that one. But I can see a rabbit. Approximately 200 yards away. There we go. There's a fox, approximately 125 yards away. There we go. Eyes, oh, there's one a bit closer. <laughs> yeah, we're overrun with foxes here. So you can see, if you're going to be using this for lamping, it's certainly bright enough. It easily picked out rabbits, it easily picked out foxes. This is a damn good light. Right, what do I think of the A4 V2 from through, not through night, WowTac. It is a really, really good light. Um, it throws a hell of a long way. It's very compact, it's got a really high capacity battery. It just feels nice in your hand. If there was one thing I would change about it, it's probably the on-off switch. I would like that to sit a little bit more proud or perhaps have some sort of knobbly part around it just so I could locate it a little bit easier in the dark. Because when I'm turning that around, the switch doesn't feel much different from the charging port, which also feels rubbery. So you're kind of going from metal to rubber and I find myself pressing the charging port quite a lot when I'm trying to turn this on. Once you've got it located, it functions perfectly. That's the one thing I would change. Other than that, it's a pretty much flawless light. The price is absolutely excellent. The construction quality is great. Performance is excellent as well. It's just a really, really good light. It's literally through night without the through night price tag. Probably the best value light that I've taken a look at over the last few years and I would definitely recommend it As I said before links to everything is in the video description and in the pinned comment if you're watching on YouTube If you're watching on Amazon, you're already on the page. Thanks for watching. See you next time